Hello YouTube. Um, here is my Christmas book haul. <laughs> I'm going to first start by showing you some of the books that I got for Christmas. Um, and then I'll show you a few that I bought for myself, either from gift cards that I got at Christmas, or just ones that I really wanted <laughs> for on sale or something like that. So, the first book I got for Christmas is Sarah's Key by Tatiana de Rosenay. And sorry if I'm pronouncing names wrong. Um, I had never heard about this book before, but it sounded really interesting. It's about a girl um, who was taken from her parents by the French police in, um, in 1942 um, as they did door-to-door -door arrests of Jewish families in the middle of the night. Desperate to protect her younger brother, Sarah locks him in a bedroom cupboard, her secret hiding place, and promises to come back for him as soon as they're released. And then six years later, this story, or Sarah's story is intertwined with that of Julian Jarman, uh, an American journalist investigating the roundup. In her research, Julia stumbles in onto a trail of secrets that link her to Sarah and to questions about her own romantic future. And then also for Christmas, I got the sequel to Sarah's Key, A Secret Cat. So, I hopefully will be able to read these shortly and let you know what I think about them. Also, um, for Christmas, I got, I'm really excited about too, and furthermore, by Judy Dench. Judy Dench is one of my favorite um, actresses, so I'm definitely very excited to read this book. Just like her auto, is a biography and autobiography kind of mixed. Because she put in a lot into it, but she still doesn't necessarily consider it her own autobiography. It's more of a continuation of a previous book that someone else wrote a biography of her. Can't quite remember the name of it. I'm excited. Look at the cool pictures of her on the back. How old these pictures are. Cute. And this one is from when she was in... Um, Shakespeare in Love, where she only was in there for eight minutes and got an award for it. So that was pretty awesome. Anyway, I'm excited about that. Um, another book that I got is The World of Downton Abbey by Jessica Follows. So this is based on telling you all the different things about Downton Abbey, which is a BBC television show, which I really enjoy watching too. Um, yeah, I just really like this book. I haven't really read a lot of it, but I like how there's a lot of like pictures and and I'm a big fan of Dame Maggie Smith, who is in this book. She was also in Harry Potter and a whole lot of other things. <laughs> which is awesome. Okay, so I'm excited about that. So mm -hmm. Okay, one book that I bought for myself, because it was mostly on sale, and I think I had a gift card. So yeah, I got a gift card. I got a couple gift cards for Christmas. So one book I bought with those gift cards is the memoirs. Oh, sorry, the memoirs of Mary Queen of Scots by Carolee Erickson. Um. So. <laughs> I haven't read a lot about Mary Queen of Scots, but I've read a lot about some of the other big names and big royalty of that era. So I think it should be a good read. Um, I'm looking forward to it. We'll see how it is. As I'm going along, if there's any books that you have read that I'm showing you, Please leave a comment below 
Tell me what you thought of it so that I'll have a little bit more to go on when I start reading. Okay. So that was that. Then I've been waiting for an order that I put in online chapters. In a previous video, I mentioned that I got a few things from chapters, or I've been waiting for a very long time for them. So they came today. So they were the audiobook of The White Queen by Philippa Gregory. I'm excited to listen to this one because I read, ended up reading The Red Queen first. Um, before this one, even though this is the prequel to that one, but so we'll see how that is. Also, I'm excited to just see how it differs um, being an audiobook compared to the Red Queen in a hard copy version. Um, this is mainly because I've heard from a lot of different sources that um, the two books are very similar, so we'll see if makes it a little bit more intriguing or different to be an audiobook instead. I also got the book set of City of Bones, City of Ashes, and City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. Um, I've heard a lot about these, um, this whole series. The This is the Mortal Instruments series. Um, I've heard a lot about them, just from other people have all read them <laughs> by now. I haven't, but um, I'm also very interested in her next series, um, so I wanted to try read this one first and see if I like them as well before I continue on. There's also, I believe, two other books in this series. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and let me know if you read these as well, and what you thought, along with any of the other ones I mentioned. Okay. Also, um, while I was out at a local thrift store today, I picked up a few other books that I thought could be interesting. They're a bit older, but still, we'll see. First one is um, Deja Dead by Kathy Reichs. Um, this is, I believe, possibly the first book, correct me if I'm wrong, um, of this series about, that includes Temperance Brennan, um, uh, who people might know from the television show Bones, which these books are, uh, the basis that the people making the show took from, so they took from these books. Um, I also got, because I am also, <laughs> to add to the list of shows that I like to watch, um, I really like watching Coronation Street. So I got Coronation Street, The War Years by Darren Little and Christine Green. Um, let's see. It goes through the complete enthralling saga of Coronation Street during the Second World War. So I'm excited to read this. And even though I haven't watched that much Coronation Street, I hope to learn a little bit about what happened previous to when I started watching it. Even though I've been watching it for a while with my grandmother originally. Okay, so I also got that one. And for people that don't know, Coronation Street is a British um, soap opera. <laughs> okay. I also got the Coronation Street story by Darren Little as well can see one of the characters along the bottom. Um, and I'm excited. This is 40 years of Coronation Street. It's been on since the 1960s, so there's a lot of history just in the story itself. So I'm excited to look through this. And there's a lot of like pictures and showing things like, like Ina Sharples. <laughs> And a few other characters. Well, a lot of characters. And I also got um, the Game of Thrones by George R. R. 
mm. Martin. This, as I've heard a lot about, basically a lot because of the show that is out, um, which it mentions at the top here. <laughs> uh, there's, this is a series of several, I believe, and I've never read them, but I've heard a lot of good things, so I would like to try it. And lastly, um, I got The Stone Angel by Margaret Lawrence. This is actually a dramatization of the original book, so it's not unabridged. It's an audiobook, so it um, includes um, a series of sharp vignettes to portray the story. Um, this book I had to read originally in grade 11. I'll get a little closer so you can see. Ooh, sorry. This book I, the original book I had to read in class in I think grade 11. So I was wondering how this would differ from that. Since I did really like this book originally. Not everyone in my class did. <laughs> but I did like it. So those were all the books that I got recently. They'll add to the giant pile of to read books that I have, which I might make a video on a little bit later. We'll see though. Um, yeah, so please in the comments let me know if you've read any of these books and whether you like them or not. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can see when I make some new videos. Thanks. Bye!